Welcome everybody to search and rescue dog training. I am happy to see a lot of new faces here. So let's jump right into our first lesson, tracking human scent. Does anyone know where to begin? You sniff a personal item, that way you know what they smell like. Correct. Is there any way a human could lose their smell? You know, like if they went through a river or were covered in bleach? That's um, never happened before, but it is common to lose track of a scent. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, but how is he supposed to help with search and rescue? He's tiny. Says the guy who couldn't catch Jack the Ripper. And we tried, okay? All right, let's move on. To Actually, I have a follow-up question. Okay, what's up? How deep do you have to bury a body in order for a search and rescue dog not to smell it? You know, hypothetically speaking. I'm not really sure, but like 15 feet maybe? Okay. 15 feet. Why are you writing that down? Now let's move on to the map on the board. These are some of the least visited places in the park. A lot of people go missing here and are never found. 